Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We're in Dark Ages, entering Night 18. Now this one's for the sadist developers. This one you guys survive the zombie attack with the given plants. What does that mean? That means that they are giving you... In my mind, some of the worst plants. I hate the peanut. It... It's a real problem in this one because unfortunately you do end up having to use them with the knights. But when they are going to throw so many jesters at you that you're going to be struggling because the jesters are basically going to take out the peanuts just by spinning around. So strategy right here is going to be to plant the sun shrooms again in the very back row. Get, get six of them down if you can. And then really pray... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's gonna work, it's just, it cuts it very, very close to where you can get the Gloom Shrooms, or the Puff Shrooms, and basically use them to take the guys out. Middle row, you're just gonna be in trouble regardless, so there's normally another zombie that comes out in the top row, and that's the that's why I put the plant right there. Uh, that middle row, you'll notice, is, is gonna be provide us a little bit of problems. I did a little trick right here. Um, and basically sacrifice some sun shrooms right here just so that they didn't take out the puff shrooms The reason I do this is because you could easily do the peanut right there But especially begin on this whole beginning section You really don't want to plant the peanuts in every single row for the aforementioned Jesters the jesters will provide so much problems for you and the jester normally comes in one of the middle rows so it's okay to kind of plant the uh, the kernel put in the top and the bottom one. The peanut I kind of had to get down just because uh, I needed to be able to stop him before he got into any of my sun shrooms. Now, thankfully, with the middle row, we are able to freeze the guy. But see what you can see. What I mean? The uh, jester's coming in a second from the top row. This is fine if you can get to this point to where you've you've lined it up. You have two gloom shrooms in the row that the first jester comes out. You should be doing well if you can get to this point. Congratulations, you may be able to make it through this night. If you haven't, you might have some problems. Now again, this is going to be a little bit of a problem just because there's a wizard right there. He comes out before even the first flag. Uh, I like to put at least two of the kernel puts there uh, just because they'll do damage to him. Unfortunately, the conehead guy comes up first, so we actually start attacking him rather than the wizard. Uh, if that does end up happening... You can definitely use a plant food on him because you are going to even need to take him out. Uh, if you do not take him out, he's going to end up making it so that every zombie is able to get through even your peanut rows. So definitely make note of that. Uh, if you can find a way to save your plant food, by all means, go right ahead and do it. I just didn't want to take a chance. This level is hard enough as it is. Uh, and again, as of right now, we have a pretty good solid defense. It's going to be mostly at this point just making sure that your peanuts have enough life. Because once the jesters come out, you're going to see a lot of problems. Also, once you get a lot of helmet guys backed up, that's also going to be a problem. The peanuts end up recharging at a fairly quick rate. So it's not, it's not horrible. Uh, but they're definitely not fast. Like in the second from the bottom row, I chose to actually re replenish him rather than go to the top row because of how many helmet guys were coming through. So many helmet guys coming through that that we needed to really reinforce him. Uh, top row, you know, luckily we're able to freeze the guys up and then we put the peanut up there. So as you can see in the second from the bottom row, that peanut is basically gone. Uh, great thing we can do though is we can freeze this guy up. Uh, put another kernel put down there. Hopefully slow these guys down enough. Basically at this point we're just biding time till we get enough sun to be able to plant a peanut and stop them. And so at this point I'm pretty confident that I'm going to beat the level. But again it's pretty darn difficult. So you know use your plant foods sparingly. If you do use them try and take them out and protect your peanuts. Uh, as well as try and take out one of the zombie kings. So that he doesn't basically keep adding helmets to your guys. Uh, you'll notice that there's a warlock right there. He's turning sheeps. 
those guys are going to be another huge problem for you. I would love for them to have a cherry bomb in this one. If they had a cherry bomb in this one, I think it would be so much easier. But they only give you five plants in order to uh, beat this level. So you kind of have to basically, you know, uh, monitor everything. Make sure that you have an eye on the peanuts that are going down. For instance, middle row, definitely going to need to work on a peanut right there. Hopefully replenish them. Uh, but as you'll see, I got rid of a couple of the sun trims, so we're not generating as much sun as we were in the beginning. Uh, that being said, definitely something that we want to uh, watch out for, and we definitely want to kind of keep replanting whenever we get the opportunity. Um, especially, you know, if you get the opportunity to get rid of a gravestone, that'll work as well, because it also gives you some extra sun. So right there. Uh, I got rid of it, and I, I got rid of one of the sun shrooms and added the, the flume shroom just because um, I knew that that peanut in the bottom row wasn't really going to be able to handle um, all the zombies that were coming at him. At this point right now, we got two more wonderful warlocks coming in the back. Uh, they're going to be such a huge pain to you. The great thing about putting the gloom shrooms on is that hopefully you can get a uh, one of these zombies out of the way so you can actually get some plant food. Uh, that is going to help you out immensely because once you get that you can at least take out one of them. Uh, another reason why I do end up liking the iceberg lettuce in here is because it really does help you out. But as of right here we are able to take out the jester in one of them. Wanted to basically use that on the sun shroom just so that I can get a little bit more sun to plant the peanut in the bottom row because the bottom row is going to be a whole lot of problem. And as you guys know, there are lawnmowers in this level, so if you are using the lawnmowers or you know you just want to get through the level, feel free to use the lawnmowers to your discretion. I just want to show you guys that it does take a little bit of effort, but there is definitely a way that you can get through this level without using lawnmowers, without investing any money into it, and, and you know, instead of adding any extra plant food using any coins it is possible it's very very difficult but it is possible and you'll notice that I use the sun shroom in the top row uh, basically just to slow the guys down a little bit because I wanted to get all four of my plants um, available and we're gonna be able to take all those guys out and once you take out all of the zombies the zombie kings will disappear they will basically die you don't actually have to take them out um, like the cannon zombies of uh, pirate seas once you get those guys done the zombie kings will end up dying. So that is night 18. Very difficult. Hopefully you, hopefully this helps you guys through it. Throw down a like if it did. It definitely... This took me a while to figure out. But once I did, I was super happy I was able to get it done. But anyways, guys, this has been Pitching Ace 88. I'll see you guys all later. Over and out.